So I'm kind of bummed. I've been working really hard all week to try and finish a project and there's just no way that it's going to be done in time. So I'm going to completely change gears and get started on something that I can do within a few hours. That way I at least have a project to put out for this week. I've been needing a fruit and veggie holder of some sort for my kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that and then save my current project for next week. I started with grabbing an array of produce from the kitchen. Oops, looks like someone made a mess. Let me just clean that up. I first took some measurements, just to get a rough idea on how big I needed each bin or basket to be. And then I started making the sides. I would take a board over to the miter saw and cut 20 degrees on both ends. Then repeat it until I had four. I figured out how wide I wanted each bin and then cut some thin strips of the table saw. I used a stop block at my miter saw to cut them to length. To put things together, I use glue and brad nails. I would put on the bottom slats and then work my way to the sides. And now I have a bin, or a basket. With both of them made, I started figuring out how far apart I needed each of them to be. Then I cut two boards and used glue and screws to attach them to the sides. After a little bit of sanding, I think that's done. For a finish, I use raw linseed oil and beeswax polish that Lynn at Darwin Orver sent me. She's actually selling some on her website if you're in need. Only thing left to do was to fill it up, and I have no problem reaching something in the back. I am just really loving this. Now, it is simple, but it's sturdy, and it's also functional. If you would like to build one, I do have a written tutorial posted on my blog, which is walkerdues.com. There's a link in the description of the video, so feel free to check it out. I'm going to go ahead and get back to the other project that I had planned. It's a very tedious project, so that hopefully it'll be ready by this time next week. So, I will see you then.